should be working on his defense. He should be pretty much turtling up here in his main base. Because right now he cannot push out. In the meantime, I am securing an economic lead. So I have a few probes I should be transferring down to my expansion anytime now. Okay, a little few engagements, I did not micro that properly. And uh, right now I'm just containing him. I, if I popped up here I could probably win. And maybe I should have poked up just to see what he had, but um, it didn't really matter actually. I've got this expansion up, which means that my income is going to be at least double his. Because he doesn't have one and I do. So I'm, I'm pretty much saying, I don't need to kill him right now, even though I could. I I just want to... Where are they going? Where are you guys going? Stupid zealous. Yeah, I'm just... Um, I wanted to secure an advantage now. So, put guys in gas. Come on, do it. There we go. There's one, two... Up there? Yes, very good. Okay. So now I should be getting upgrades... Upgrades, maybe, there we go, there's upgrades. And I could chrono boost that. Sunshine's still not chrono boosting, he has the double robo. Ah, double robo all the way. Okay. And that's a lot of immortals. Um, I'm actually kind of interested in this. Uh, I'd like to try out doing more immortals myself, because going mass immortal is something no one does, but I feel like that could be very strong. Immortals, of course, do uh, 20 uh, damage and 50 verse armor, which is a lot. That's about a, that's like a siege tank. Well, yes, yeah, it's, yeah it's the same as a siege tank. And they're more mobile than a siege tank. They're they're really freaking good against armored units uh, like the stalker. So you know, if you keep them in the back like this, they're gonna they're gonna do awesome. And I um, probably should have run my stalkers away instead of getting trapped, but if I focus down the immortals, I might be able to do this. Army value, we're about even actually right now. But look how fast those immortals take down stalkers. Bam. Bam. That was. I, it's not how many stalkers I had, that was just one sided. But, let's look at the income tab 1400 to 480, or 500. So my advantage now is that I can crank out units much faster than him, and I'm, I'm going to win eventually. I'm getting a third base. He has one base that is basically mined out. He needs to expand right now. And he is just saving up for it. And he's going to attack with this tiny little force that is just not, not going to work. And I have 80 food to 50. So, um, uh, a lot of people will say that, you know, if you're doing Protoss, if you're playing as Protoss, you have to 4 gate or 2 gate. Like, that's what you have to do. That's what you do to win. And if someone does that to you and you don't do it, you lose. And I just want to say that, um, there's nothing wrong with doing a defensive 2 gate with the macro focus or a, a four gate but um, expanding while you attack with the, with the timing push just don't build that forward pylon and it's not really like an all-in kind of build so I think that's something that uh, you should consider if you're playing Protoss um, you know focus more on this economic style because Sunshine's mined out he's only gonna have one base I'm gonna have three Let's look at the income again. 1,500 to 80. Okay? He can't build anything. He's got no money to build anything. And, um... I, I do. So, that's really something that's important. Your money does run out pretty quickly on one base. Uh, now, Sunshine has this probe floating around. This is kind of funny. I, I like, never kill this probe ever. But whatever. Anyway. Uh, I'm not chrono boosting out of this nexus. Okay, well, I kinda chrono boost in um, 
in waves anyway. Whenever I remember to. It'll happen eventually. And just making more stuff. Getting an immortal myself. Uh, I should be making out of this robot facility. Getting really high in the gas. Um, I think that's a mistake. Oh, there I killed the probe. Awesome. So, he's back on one base. For four gate, you only really need one gas geyser, but I get more than that. So, killing these rocks to prepare a fourth base, pretty good. I don't think I ever actually make it, but um, whatever. Oh, I'm supply blocked. That's not good. Sunshine, however, has 92 pylons worth of supply, so he's good. Oh yeah, here's some DTs. <laughs> now, I want you just to notice, the best counter to something cute like this is to just go fucking kill him. But the second best counter is to run your probes away, stupid, stupid probes. Um, third best counter is to macro better. I'm on, well, two bases right now. I could easily get a third. And I have a robotics facility. It's a piece of cake to just get an observer. That's no problem. And meanwhile, I'm just wrecking his whole base. I should have chrono boosted this observer, but I didn't. And I think I was going to research blink or something. I don't know. Here comes the observer, and now I can finally kill these annoying DTs. So, here it comes, and I can kill it. Ah. Die, DTs. Okay, so he did a whole lot of damage. That's a lot of harvesters. Anyway, yeah, I'm, I'm only running on this one base now, but I've... I've killed his army, and he recognizes that I can kill him. So he GG'd. So, once again, macro-focused Protoss is possible. You don't have to foregate on one base and just go for the win. Foregate and go for the contain. I think that's a good strategy. So, I uh, hope you enjoyed watching, and... Uh, goodbye. <laughs>